I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at Smithy TV in downtown Toronto. I'm here with Rebecca and Jean-Michel from She Sings For Me. How does it feel to have your film screening at the Canadian Film Festival? Oh, it's great. We're yeah, we're totally excited to be here. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's awesome. It's a beautiful little short, and I'm so glad it's it's gotten into the Canadian Film Fest. Yeah, awesome. it's a good thing. Yeah, and we feel we feel super supported by Burn, and yeah, it's uh, I think it's gonna be great. It's gonna be fun. Woohoo! Tonight. <laughs> and uh, in the short, you play a cobbler. Tell me a bit about how this uh, character of the cobbler came to be, and how it's inspired by true true life events. <laughs> Well, it's kind of funny because actually um, my neighbor is, he's not a cobbler because he takes offense at that because cobbler is apparently like very, uh, um, like a menial task and he's a, he's a shoe creator. <laughs> but I, anyway, I used the cobbler because it was more known because the German name for co like for what he does is like long and elaborate anyway but he okay he makes these crazy beautiful expensive shoes like like they're like a thousand dollar shoes and I would see him walking around these in these shoes and it just kind of it was like a flash of an inspiration it's definitely not based on him but his profession is certainly was was inspiring <laughs> one of the most amazing things was I got a chance to study with him I went to a studio and uh, saw how he makes these shoes and all the process and everything which is amazing because yeah, yeah. he studied in Italy under this guy and anyway it's amazing <laughs> it's really amazing what he does but he's also quite a character and so I was studying <laughs> like suddenly I don't know if he knew this but I was studying him at the same time as I was studying how he makes the shoes so that's awesome and I mean who doesn't love shoes right but uh, did you learn anything about the making of shoes that really sort of took you by surprise? For me, it was the different qualities of leather. I don't know if you knew this, but the soles of shoes are not wood or hard. They're actually layers of leather. What? Yes. This is what <laughs> ah, I did not know. You, so that, that was you, a fun you picked fact. that up, eh? I, I, didn't, up. I didn't pick that up. I mean, I did yeah. get to see like the nails going in. Like mm -hmm. they, they're kind of nailed all the way around. Like handmade shoes are, I guess. I mean, I don't think mm -hmm. shoes, factory shoes are made like that. But it's, it, yeah, it is very... It's a process. Yeah. Yeah, and then you think like, okay, a thousand dollar pair of shoes. I mean, come on. Like, how how good can it be? But you, you put said, them on, yeah. and it's it's like something is hugging your foot, like wow. literally making love to your feet. Or that. Or that. Close. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's actually better. That's better. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. And music is a you know a pretty big part of this film. It is called She Sings for Me. Yeah. Um. So tell me a little bit about the importance of the music and and singing and why you chose this as this for, as a form of communication, I guess, for the characters? Or not that it's a musical, yeah, but... Yeah, yeah, no, no. Well, I guess... Um, well, I wanted to have the character Holly sing because... and doing some, some something operatic because it, there's so much vulnerability in singing, and I think... and singing opera, and she's not an opera singer, so she's inspired by this music, and, it, and she remembers this music from listening to it with her mother, but but she's not a singer herself. So then to do this bold act of singing for the cobbler is so like so crazy and vulnerable and brave. And I mean, you know, like if we just stood here and started to sing opera, it would be crazy. <laughs> do you want to? <laughs> I, I, I do not. <laughs> I wish I could have sung to her, but it was great that it's, it's, it is a modern fairy tale yeah. in that sense, because you have a guy who's a cobbler and you have this girl who just comes in and starts singing this operatic. And also, I would say, like, the street that we shot on everything, people are just super friendly, super open doors. Um, there was just a whole feel around all the shoot that was so, like, as if we lived in, like, a, a village in the 15th <laughs> century and <laughs> wherever in England. Like, it was really that friendly and, and open and honest and awesome. So Yeah. Yeah. And Ryan Goldhar, who also is the wizard of Smitty TV, executive produced the short. So what was it like working with him? Well, he was just really supportive and he was just kind of like, I trust you, go do it. I'm I'm here if you need me. So yeah, so we sent him some cuts and yeah, it was great. Yeah, he's really supportive. Great. Mm -hmm. And where's the best place for us to find out more information about the film and the festivals that it's going to be going to, including the film Canadian Film Festival, uh, online? 
So you can find us at btproductions.tv and there's a synopsis of the film there and some photos some stills and and yeah and we're going to be in St. Petersburg, Florida at the end of April for the Sunscreen Film Festival so that's exciting. Awesome. Yeah, and come see us on Friday. Right? Yeah, come yeah. see us on Friday, Friday, 7 p.m. We'll be there. Well, thanks so much, guys, and congratulations. Oh, thank you thank so much. You. Thank you. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats in downtown Toronto. <laughs>